Derivatives Series 1.3 Futures Contract. Hello all, welcome to the Derivatives Series. In this series, we will look at modules describing derivatives products. Let's begin this module on Futures Contract. At the end of this module, you should be able to Define Futures Contract List the characteristics of Futures Contract Illustrate the functioning of Futures Define Margin List the types of margin Illustrate Mark to Market Process What are Futures Contract? Futures contracts are similar to forwards. They are contracts to buy or sell an asset at a certain future date for a certain price. Here, it's an obligation for the buyer and seller to buy or sell and receive or deliver the underlying asset at the expiration date. The futures have standardized quantity or lots, standardized time period or maturity, and they are normally traded in an exchange. What makes futures different from forwards? Let's understand this with an example. Assume that a lemonade vendor and a lemon farmer wanted to get into a contract so that they can lock in the prices. Since both of them are worried about the adverse movement of the price, they might decide to get into a forward contract. However, they would be exposed to the counterparty risk. Hence, they might want to get into a futures contract or a third party enters between them to mitigate the risk of either of the parties defaulting their terms. But how would this third party mitigate this risk? This third party who can be called a central counterparty, CCP, will play a role of seller to the lemonade vendor and buyer to the lemon farmer. Now, a question might pop up. How can placing an additional party would mitigate the risk? Here, let's get introduced to margining. When the traders get into a contract, the CCP collects margin or in other words, a collateral from both the parties, which refrains the traders from defaulting their contract. This way, the counterparty risk is mitigated by the CCP in the futures contract. There are three types of margin. Initial margin, which is collected when the parties get into a contract. Maintenance margin, this is the minimum amount that must be maintained on the deposit at all times. Variation margin, this arises when the deposit amount goes below the maintenance margin. When the deposit amount is below the maintenance margin, the concerned party receives a margin call to refill their deposit account with the required margin amount. Hmm, what makes the margin account balance increase or decrease? Good question. There is a process which is in place that records the value of the security on a daily basis to calculate profit or losses and it confirms that margin requirements are being met. This process is called mark to market. Let's work with an example where both parties get into a contract with a contract price of 50 rupees. Suppose the next day the price of lemon increases to 55 rupees, then lemonade vendor is in profit for the day. Hence, the profit amount would be transferred from lemon farmer's margin account to lemonade vendor's margin account. And this process of daily settlement of gain or loss continues till the expiry date of the contract. We have come to the end of this module. Now you should be able to Define futures contract List the characteristics of futures contract Illustrate the functioning of futures Define margin List the types of margin Illustrate mark to market process